A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter as a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Avon? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death, then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelford's pyre. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah, and now we can always pay our respects. Get off me, you oaf! Stop struggling and give back... Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. Stop it, you pumpkin! If he falls, God will punish you! God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. about this lad, my friend. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well... Moon calf.
Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? How about I pay you to scuttle off to the tavern and drink yourself senseless? Deal. Better than running round after you, grubby urchins. Ha! <laughs> that showed them! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? They were the quill's ninny pops. Smart stuff to throw coin at them. They'll be too swift to bother you now. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Show me. I should watch out for a mouse trap. me alone in the streets. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil.
Now, now, Elwyn. You have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> Little Alwyn, so much more. Saved her from a life less worth. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. set to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement. With ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow. Knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much steered in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Avon. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Right, whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the winter for your report.
If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A peasant's clothes. Strange discovery in a churchyard. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Eternal bliss, but can you still smell the burned flesh? It's right across the whole graveyard. These clothes do not seem to fit this frail body. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aylforth was a brute. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping. Singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aylforth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone heard Leof. I saw a pile of dirty clothes just here. Is your friend Leof a beggar? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burned. This funeral is a shadow play. The order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelferth's place. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aylforth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards! Hell with you! Cat! Enough of this cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelforth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Show me what lies ahead.
Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Clark or Abbott can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, enlightened thoughts. This will raise us about the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God, it's true. The bishop lives. Stand. Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there.
Ray on Feria. Uh -huh. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets. Send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. it must be blocked from the other side. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. chance, damn you! I did not want it. I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. See you, old friend.
You are a good boy. Darling. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Eivor. happened. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting.